and 360 camera selfie stick. Whether you want an invisible selfie stick or drone-like shots, I'll help you find the best 360 camera tripod for you. Hi, my name is Mick and you're watching 360 Rumors, the resource that 360 shooters trust for in-depth camera reviews and innovative techniques. Hey, how you doing? Good to see you again. Welcome to the ultimate tripod comparison for 360 cameras. So this is going to be a really comprehensive video. We've got a lot of uh, material to cover, so I've broken it down to four parts. First part will be selfie sticks. Second part will be monopods. Third part, light stands. Fourth part will be specialty stands. FYI, this channel is all about 360 cameras and accessories. So go ahead, hit the subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the little notification bell. So first, let's talk about selfie sticks. My favorite one is the Benro MK10. This is the stand that I use maybe 90% of the time. Why? Because number one, it's pocketable. Second, um, the ball head can be removed. And when you remove it, then number one, you don't have to fiddle with the um, ball head to make sure that the 360 camera is aligned. Plus, it becomes very, very narrow. Um, and it's invisible even to uh, thin cameras like the uh, Ricoh Theta or Xiaomi Mi Sphere. And lastly, it comes with this super slim smartphone tripod adapter so if you have a 360 camera that attaches to a phone such as let's say the insta 360 nano or insta 360 air then um, using this will make make it more close to invisible the benro mk10 does have some disadvantages first of all it's not easy to remove this ball head i have a tutorial for it but it doesn't work all the time if you can't do it then you're kind of like stuck with this ball head um, on the Benro and it's still useful you could still use it for let's say like the Insta 361 or Verb it will still be invisible but for Mi Sphere and Theta it won't be unless you can remove this ball head so let's say you don't want to risk it you have a thin camera like the Theta or Mi Sphere and you want to make sure that you'll be able to uh, have an invisible selfie stick so the next option I would suggest is this one it's called Monopod this is um, um, inexpensive um, selfie stick and there's several that are similar to this but what they like about this particular one is that this one is invisible even to theta or me sphere so you can see the shape is rectangular it would fit um, the 360 camera uh, perfectly it also has a quarter 20 uh, tripod hole at the bottom so you can attach a base to it more about bases later so what i don't like about it is that this head is not um, fixed it pivots so you have to make sure that the angle is correct and there are um, some copies of this like this where the head is not perfectly straight so this one's aligned with the shaft this one is not so this one has a, a black uh, bottom and this one has a silver or a chrome uh, bottom so try to get the one with the black uh, base so the next selfie stick is the Disney proof selfie stick uh, you know that Disney banned selfie sticks uh, but this one can still be used so this is the simple GoPro um, selfie stick and, and because um, it doesn't extend like it's basically this is as long as it gets then it's allowed at Disneyland so if you're going there this is one of the few options for you later on towards the end of this video in the specialty um, mount section there's another one that works for Disneyland so the thing about selfie sticks is that they're not very long so if you want to take a an eye level shot or a shoulder level shot then you're going to need a monopod so i'm going to show you three monopods and tripod legs for them first is the manfrotto compact extreme so um, my friend ben claremont loves this monopod really well made and I like how the cross section is oval uh, so that it's more rigid this way there's very little uh, flex um, plus you can remove the ball head uh, which makes it uh, easier to align the camera to the shaft to keep it as uh, invisible as possible having said that it is not completely invisible to um, cameras such as the theta or the Mi Sphere. but for the insta 61 or other um, cameras that are not as thin as the Theta or Sphere, this will be invisible. One weird thing about the Manfrotto is that the tip is um, a male a quarter 20 tripod so you do need an adapter if you're going to use it with um, tripod legs that have like, a male connector. 
If you're looking for a more affordable alternative to the Manfrotto, check out the Insta 361 selfie stick. There are lot, actually a lot of things I love about this uh, monopod. Uh, first of all, it's very compact. Like, see, so when you when they're fully collapsed, it's way shorter than the Manfrotto. You can't stuff the Manfrotto in your pocket. You know, it'll, it'll look weird. But the um, Insta 61 selfie stick kind of passes for being pocketable. Uh, which makes it more useful to me. Um, second, you know, the length. Now, uh, here's the, they're almost as long. So, like, here's the Manfrotto. Now, uh, here's the um, Insta360 selfie stick. See, check out the length. I mean, there's like maybe five inches difference between them. The other thing is that the Manfrotto has these flip locks um, and they can show up in the photo. Uh, whereas the Insta 61 has no flip locks, so um, it has a very clean profile, and this is going to be invisible for cameras such as Insta 61 and many other cameras. So let's say you want a longer monopod than the Insta 61 selfie stick or the uh, Manfrotto Compact Extreme, then check out the Kodak monopod. So um, this one is really long. Check this out because this is designed for. 360 cameras, it doesn't have a ball head and it makes it easy to align the camera with the shaft. It also comes with these super wide uh, tripod legs. Check out how wide they are. So, so the disadvantage of the Kodak um, and the monopod legs is that the monopod legs have to be carried separately or if you attach them, then it becomes really long and kind of like bulky and inconvenient to carry around. The Manfrotto and the Insta 60 don't have uh, tripod legs included, so um, unfortunately, Kodak doesn't sell those legs by themselves. But you know, you can get uh, the triple E kit tripod legs, which are about around half as uh, wide as the um, Kodak ones, but they're still pretty useful. And the triple E kit legs are very affordable um, and also portable. Another option for uh, tripod legs is just you know, regular tripod legs, the ones that are used with uh, regular cameras. And so like, like this one, for example, um, is from Gitzo and, and it works pretty well. It's, you know, it's pretty stable. So what if you wanted to shoot on steps like these? Well, uh, the tripod legs from something like the Kodak would be simply too wide. So for that, uh, check out the Octopad. So this is a, a very compact uh, base and it's only maybe you know four inches radius or so but it's weighted so i've compared this against um, tripod legs such as the one from um, smatry where it comes with their monopod and this one is way more stable now you've seen some monopods and legs for them now could you get a monopod with built-in legs absolutely i have four to show you first up is the yun tang very lightweight uh, very affordable and it's got built-in tripod legs in. and you can extend this and it can kind of take a you know chest level shot or so you can see it's kind of big and unless you have something like the verb uh, you, you know this is going to show up on your shot if you want a monopod with tripod legs but it's invisible then check out the panel rule uh, the panel rule is a new a monopod with built-in tripod legs um, and it's designed specifically to be invisible. I don't have it yet but um, the manufacturer sent me um, like a photo with a Theta uh, shot on their Panaru Stealth monopod and you can see the nader is very clean um, and also the, it comes with built-in tripod legs that fold up so it's very compact. Um, now the when you fold it it's only about 17 inches but uh, you, it extends as much as like 58 inches, almost five feet. So one of my new favorite um, monopods is the Monoshot. This is actually the second version. I had the first version as well, but this one is a bit better in several ways. Um, first of all, it is invisible. It does have a ball head, but the ball head is easily removable. You don't need fancy tricks. You don't need hot water or super strength to remove it. Um, and when you remove it, um, this is invisible, even to uh, cameras like the Mesphere or the Theta. 
as you can see it's got built-in tripod legs uh, they can be positioned in any of three angles one two three um, and the legs can be individually extended so that means that you know between extending them and putting them in different um, angles you can um, uh, use them in a variety of terrain that even uh, on slopes so in terms of length i would say like fully extended it's maybe um, like 64 inches or so another thing i like about the monoshot is it's super light you know uh, very easy to use this uh, for um, like an invisible flying camera and in fact this is the one that i used for my recent video with um, collect so the monoshot legs are removable um, it's a bit unusual because it the it has a, a male quarter 20 connector kind of like the manfrotto um, but beyond that there's also one neat trick that it has see if you you can remove this base and it conceals this spike so what can you do with this spike well um, flip it over and you can stick this to the ground and it will become a truly invisible then it will become a truly invisible monopod you can't even see the legs so obviously that will only work for uh, soft surfaces but it's still really cool really useful the one disadvantage to the monoshot is that because it's so light it's not like super stable it can wobble a bit um, and that's where the next um, monopod with tripod legs comes in so this is the promaster lsct one of my favorite uh, monopods it's actually a light stand uh, but check it out so it's got uh, built-in legs you can position it in three angles one two or three so you can see that and you can position them independently each leg can be independently extended and when the legs are fully extended and the shaft is also fully extended you can check out the height so you can see it's really tall but yeah so the base is not removable but you know it can it can easily be used as a um, invisible flying cameras uh, as well so you can hold it like this this is uh, more sturdy than the mono shot like the mono shot if you hit it it will wobble more this one will wo won't wobble as much because it's more rigid so when you collapse the uh, pro master and the mono shot they're both about the same length but you know this is heavier it's also more bulky so you got to choose between stability versus lightweight now if you want better stability you can use a light stand so this is a light stand that i like to use it's called linko so you can see that the legs are attached at two points here and here so it gives it more stability than a monopod which is attached only at a single point um, also light stands are uh, have a narrow tip just like you know like these other monopods that i showed you so they're also going to be invisible in your shot so you can see it's really tall and yes it is invisible um, now it's also a little bit harder to uh, use as an invisible flying camera but it can be done so here another reason i like the linko stands um, it's the legs you know the legs can be partially closed um, so they can be as narrow as you need them to be like this or you can, you can they can be even fully closed so even in this position for example you know it, it can stand up so there's a more affordable light stand uh, this one's called newer and although it's a, you know really really inexpensive um, it's you know it's been okay to me um, you know this one is seven feet tall and it's about I think 20 or 30 dollars the tip can wobble a little bit slightly this one the tip has zero wobble at all so if you want a light stand that's uh, more portable and easier to carry then check out the Manfrotto Nano and Nanopole so these light stands can extend to around seven feet 
um, and they're made by my frontal so they're very well made the stands are very low profile very thin so they won't um, show up too much in your shot the nano nanopole and the nano are are very similar so the only difference is that with the nanopole i can remove the shaft there's a button here at the bottom on the nanopole press it and loosen this and it becomes a boom pole or monopod so i like the nanopole but with these knobs they're slower to deploy um, and plus sometimes these knobs can show up um, in shots with thinner cameras now if you want to shoot with a DSLR panel then there's really no substitute for a real tripod. Um, I would not recommend using a light stand or one of those small pods with legs because they're just not stable enough. You're going to get plenty of stitching errors. With this um, it's going to be much more stable for your DSLR. Um, so this is the Manfrotto 190 GO. It was uh, recommended to me by uh, Peter van den Vanguard and it's worked really well um, there are two versions of this this is the carbon fiber version um, there's also an aluminum version which is also really good um, uh, and much more affordable so besides being very stable this tripod has several nice features for, for example you can um, turn the shaft um, to 90 degrees so there's a 90 degree column so now I'm going to show you six specialty mounts. First I wanted to show you this one. This is the Telesyn. This is a super extra extra long um, selfie stick monopod. Um, and it's uh, made from carbon fiber. So what can you do with this? Now um, you can use this to make drone like shots. So the only thing I don't like with the, the Telesyn is that you have to fully extend the segments. So um, here for example this this uh, segment is fully extended so that's gonna work now if you put it like halfway it's not gonna hold its position so there's another selfie stick that's just as long as the tails in but with a few important differences so that you can set this at any length so you can just loosen it and let's say put set it halfway between the segment and tighten it again then it's gonna hold that position the disadvantage, however, of this selfie stick is that it's more wobbly compared to the Telesyn. See what I mean? Hang on. Can you see it's... It's more wobbly. The, the blue one wobbles more than the Telesyn. Now with those extra long selfie sticks, be careful that you don't accidentally touch the power line. Next, I wanted to show you guys some hands-free mounts. This one is called the, the Seldi. Um, so it goes around your neck like this um, and there's like a strap that you can attach uh, it's optional but it puts the camera right here so you can shoot 360 videos hands-free um, and I've used this in roller coasters like some like Disneyland will allow it um, so that's that makes it pretty useful now you could also use the GoPro uh, chest mount and there's this extension arm that you can attach to it but that one is kind of like uh, less stable the camera will bounce more this one it, it won't bounce as much so another stand that I wanted to show you guys is this these are the um, sail video systems um, harnesses so the sail video systems let you um, shoot hands-free um, and you can make it look like there's a camera following you so they they seem to work best on um, like wheeled vehicles like let's say you have a motorized skateboard or you have a, a motorcycle something like that when you're walking with them they kind of like move side to side so um, I don't use them as much for that purpose so one more special stand that I like to use is this uh, motorized dolly so this works really well with 360 cameras because you have the full view right and uh, while the the uh, dolly is moving you can track a subject this one comes with a remote so with the remote you could do start stop you could um, change direction like what I did there or you could just stop it um, now one thing weird about this dolly is that it the <clears throat> the dolly itself has an on off switch 
here but the remote control doesn't so what I do is I uh, remove the battery and I flip it over when I'm not using it that way it won't drain all the way fortunately it's easy to do so time for one more special mount so this is the uh, shoot photo um, and what's what it's just kind of like a um, kind of like a platform and it's got these legs and you can attach a uh, camera to them um, with a suitable adapter now uh, what makes this different is that you can you can uh, strap it to things like let's say this uh, host here and with a camera there it can hang like sideways you can obviously get the uh, wider cinch strap so that you can put it around trees or things like that thanks for watching if you found it helpful please hit the like button and leave a comment so be sure to share this with your friends who are also um, uh, 360 shooters uh, I'm sure many of them would really love to have this info about these uh, tripods and don't miss my next video which will be about Insta360's new camera it's really really awesome don't miss it Thanks and I'll see you in 360.